channel today I have for you a gold bronze olive eye I really like how it turned out um, I just wanted to do a little pop of color on the crease instead of the usual you know neutral brown dark brown yada 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 so I just did something different and just popped a little color on the crease I really like how this turned out and I really hope you guys enjoy as well um, I am not wearing any falsies in this look I am using just only dun, 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 this mascara guys, this is the MAC Dimension Mascara, I think that's what it's called, I may be completely wrong, all the info will be in the bottom bar down below, so correct me if I am wrong, well I correct myself, but you know what I mean, this mascara is life guys, Mwah. it's amazing, I cannot stop raving about it, it is phenomenal, it makes your eyelashes honestly look like, like, like falsies, I know it's shorter, I have short lashes, but I mean like it looks much much more fuller, granted I did wear ton of mascara like I swear like 10 minutes of this video it's just gonna be me applying mascara which I will fast forward but it's just you know me applying mascara but I cannot stop talking about this mascara it's amazing the wand the formula the, the staying powder power of it it's amazing I really like this mascara guys try it out honestly when I say this but I love to use this mascara on days when I'm not wearing lashes but I still want to give my eyelashes a little you know oomph so that's what I really enjoy about it but yeah, enough of me jibber-jabbering. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hi everyone. So I already applied my foundation, concealer, and contour, actually. Um, as you can see. Don't worry, I got you guys. The next video will be up, will be how I contour. Don't worry about that. So what we're going to first start up doing is, as per usual, we're going to prime our eyes and set it with the MAC, uh, my MAC face powder. I am actually using the MAC Soft Ochre as my primer. Yeah, so I'm going to quickly apply that and set it. Start to dance and now I'm singing like girl you know I want your love your love was handmade So we're gonna go in with the naked palette today and I am gonna go first with the color buck and I'm gonna apply that all over my crease. I'm gonna use windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions to buff that in the crease area. This is gonna serve as the transition color. So now I'm just going to darken the um, crease up just a little bit more with the same brush. I'm just going to apply this darker shade and I'm going to concentrate it more so on the crease, not all over the lid and whatnot. I'm just going to do the same motions, windshield wiper and uh, circular motions, and apply that strictly on the crease area just to darken it up a little bit to give it some contrast. And I'm just for the lid, I'm going to take the color half baked. On the synthetic brush, and I'm gonna apply that all over my uh, lid. Take Buck once again just to blend the two shadows together. And that's all we're gonna do for the eyeshadow. We're good for now. I'm just gonna apply my. Um, eyeliner offline. I'll put the link down below with my latest video. So now we're going to go in with the Kat Von D Star Studded Palette. I think that's what it's called. And we're going to take the last two shades. It's like a, a light green and more of a uh, forest green. And we're going to apply that right near the ends of the uh, lids. So, so just on the outer crease area and we're going to blend that with, with a shorter brush and we're going to blend that into the, uh, the end of the lids and to the crease. So we're going to concentrate that color at first there and then when there's less product on our brush we're going to apply that closer to the inner crease. just taking the first brush again like a fluffy brush no additional product just to blend the two shadows in again so I felt like my end the tails were a little too long for this look since I'm not wearing lashes so what I just did was um, in layers take the darker green eyeshadow erased it and then just keep blending it in now to clean up the edge of um, the eyes I just kind of baked my eyes like right here and then I'm just gonna wipe it away right away just so um, it cleans up and it looks sharp I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet. Oh, 
I just redid the um, tail of the wing just to make it a little bit shorter and I felt that was good. So now I'm just going to uh, curl my lashes really quickly. This is a really important step when you're wearing, not wearing lashes just so it looks more rounder and more fuller. I'm going to apply this MAC mascara. cannot rave about it. It makes your eyelashes look like you're wearing falsies without actually wearing falsies. But it does take some time. So it took me 10 minutes applying mascara just on my top coats alone. I just, for the sake of the video, cut it short. <laughs> but yes, and moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking the darkest shade, um, darkest matte shade that we put on our crease. I'm just going to apply that just a little bit on the uh, bottom of my lash line just to give it some dimension quick coat of mascara same mascara to my bottom lashes as well eyes look more open and full amazing love it now so for blush i'm taking this nars palette and i'm actually taking this peachy shade at the top and applying it to the apples of my cheek at first and blending it backwards this blush is amazing for this kind of look it's um it's like an apricot pink peach color amazing I'm brushing away all the excess powder and uh, just diffusing the color just a little bit because you don't want the blush to be so pungent in this look and we're good now for highlight i'm using the same palette and i'm just applying the highlighting shades to the high points of my face as per usual nothing new guys <laughs> last night you were in my room and now my bed sheets smell for lips hmm let's see where is my lipstick guys hmm there it is <laughs> all right so that's the lipstick i did choose to wear with it it's like a neutral brown mauve i would want to say kind of it has a hint of like pink into it with a little bit of brown it works perfectly for this earthy olive green gold eyes look and that's the finished look guys i really hope you guys enjoyed so go all you can eat, fill up your bag and I fill up the plate. Hey guys, and don't forget to click the thumbs up button below and please subscribe.